great. So this is a bit of a big one. That's what she said. Um, but um, it's a fairly simple in logic, which I'm sure you guys would appreciate. So void ESP. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I, I kind of have to apologize for rushing this tutorial out there because unfortunately I'm working full time now, which sucks. D. And um, I can't pull out tutorials as fast as I want to. And a lot of the time I only have a couple of hours to do them. So get one in a rectangle. I don't want to bore you with the details though, obviously. So find window. And then we're going to go Counter Strike Source. Um, didn't we do this earlier? I'm trying to wonder, get rid of the rectangle. No, we didn't, we did something else. So all we're doing is getting the rectangle for this window. And we can use the variable from earlier, but I'm just gonna follow my notes, which I always find problems with when I'm doing the tutorials. I wanna store the rectangle here, so I'll explain what this does in a second. So that's fine, kill that, find window. And again, we wanna make sure we type the exact right thing here, Counter-Strike Source. Because if we don't, we don't find the correct in window and we fail at life. Um, so yeah, what we're doing is here, here, as the name states, is get window rectangle. So we're getting the window where our game's being played in, and we're storing the rectangle on mrect, which I should call this. <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Uh, so we're we're storing it there, which is um, all all the get when the rectangle does is as the name states it gets it gets the information regarding the rectangle so it gets all the points and that's how we used to find out the window width height etc so it's not a big deal what that does there so and then we say in target yeah that's found a variable that doesn't need to be declared it's from the old aimbot so we ignore that for now so let's create a for loop that we use to loop through our enemies in order to draw them so for int i equals one um, set it to zero actually. Um, if i is less than number of players, num of players plus plus again. If you watch the aimbot tutorial, you'll know exactly what number of players is, and it's the, the obviously as, as the name states it is the number number of players in the game. So you could be on a server with 30 players, and you could or you could be on a server with two players. If you're on a server with two players, you don't want to be looping through 30 results, which will make your aimbot or your ESP whatever incredibly slow. Um, so we're just being efficient about that. It's just basic stuff. So reading information based on that player, pass the eye, grab all the information based on this player, and then we say if player list. All we're going to do for this tutorial is scan through enemies. Now, if you'd like to um, go over the so quote, kill that. All we're saying here is we're saying if the enemy's health. Sorry, if the enemy's team. Shit, I went for a team there for some reason. Health. If the enemy's health is less than two, don't display him, okay? Look through their health. If it's less than two, they're dead. Uh, that's just the way Counter Strike works. Um, <clears throat> and then we say if player dot team equals equals my player dot team again. We're checking if the enemy's on our team, if the player that we loop through is on our team. Uh, then we uh, we break from this iteration and we move on to the next one. That's what continue means, by the way, in case you're wondering that. So we don't we don't draw an ESP on players that have less than two health, and we don't draw an ESP on our own team. Now, if you want, you can kill this um, and draw on your own team as well. That's absolutely fine. So if you want to have an ESP that draws on both your guys and the enemies, that's fine. On this example, I'll just cover um, our own team. So remember. The to comment this out or not do it if if you just wanna if you wanna show everyone. Um I'm gonna sneeze fuck. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Alright. <clears throat> now we're declaring the enemy XYZ point and this is what our world to screen is beautifully required for. And then we say if water screen, so if the enemy is within our our um uh, screen basically. So player list <coughs> What are we sending in there? We're sending the enemy's position, oops, dot position, and we're sending our own position. Sorry, we're sending enemy's position and our XY position. Sorry about that. Yep. And we go if if the player is within our screen, we draw. So I forgot to do close that. If he's within our screen, let's draw the ESP. So uh, whoa. So draw ESP. This will be done first so leave the error there for now we don't really care 
comment it out if you like. So we're going to write our ESP, draw ESP function, which is a little bit complicated, but it's not, it's not really a big deal. This is all pretty straightforward stuff. So void, and there's many, many different ways of doing this. Um, with my previous ESP, a couple of the previous ESPs that I've coded, I've done a fair amount of different kind of ways. Um, but it's really up to you. The way I've done it here is quite straightforward. So int y and float distance. So as you can see, first things here, we're throwing in where we want to draw the ESP. So x, here's x, draw on the x coordinates on the screen. So that's the horizontal axis. Or y and y, sorry, which is the, the vertical axis. So we're saying draw here and there. So this could be maybe on our crosses, could be anywhere on the screen. So at this point, we already know where to draw. We've got everything that we need. And that this is where our drawing actions will happen. So, um, and obviously the reason why they're separate is because we want to keep the code neat. So let's pass on the variables that we need so we don't have to worry too much about that anymore. So draw, and this will be enemy x, y, zero, Minus. Now, if you're doing this through a direct text hook built in, uh, sorry, hooked into the game, then you won't need to do this. So this will be mrect dot left, and all this is for is if you're playing windowed, pretty much. Um, all this means is if, for example, this window's here, it starts from this point instead of starting from this point here. You see, um, so, and the same happens for obviously top because. Most people assume that the hack will start immediately from here, but what if the game window is down here, you see? And that's why we need that. So even if the window is, whether it's at the top corner where we want it or anywhere in the middle of the screen, it will work fine. So I recommend you have this, especially if, for those of you that are using external overlays that require the game to be in windowed mode. So enemy x, y, and we're going to go 1, which is basically our y axis. And again, you could have put this in an object. I guess it would have been slightly more neat. But up to you guys as usual. Um, normally, if I were to do something properly, I would have done it in, in an object. And then we say get 3D distance in this instance anyway. Uh, so we want to say my player dot position. Come on, dot position and player list. I dot position. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So all we're doing here is we're setting a distance which is what we use to draw onto the screen the how far away we are from the enemy so that's pretty simple stuff so we've got that let's not worry about ESP anymore because that's uh, easy stuff we loop through all the enemies now we need to say draw here draw there draw there draw there draw everywhere that's all we're doing so first thing we're going to do is int width now you'll find this very strange here equals 18 uh, did, 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 did. should I go over this just now um yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but look, I'll, I'll show you this first, and then I'll explain why I've done this. Um, there's a couple of different methods to do this, but this is the one I chose for. So 36,000 divided by distance. And now you're probably wondering, where does this dumbass get his numbers from? I'll show you in a second. Uh, draw border box. X, Y. Now this is drawing our border box, which is basically four lines, all... Um, nicely put so that it make a, a rectangle. So it's x minus width divided by 2. Okay, and I'll explain why we're doing that way. Minus height, and when I do width, and height, and thickness of that line is 1. You can adjust that if you like. So what we're sending here is x point, which is x minus, so the equivalent that we get given, which is x minus width divided by 2. Okay, so let me try and remember why I did this. So width of the screen divided by 2. Um, why did I do that? I wonder. Oh, yeah, that's it. So um, minus width. Width is... Yeah, width is the, the size of the default border box. So this first bit that we're drawing here is the ESP itself. So ESP rectangle. <clears throat> We can set a size there. It's best. I think it's better if I show you this in, a, in an example. Let's set, ignore these widths, and let's do, for example, actually, let, let's set the fault values. Let's say you're doing this. Um, let's say you're doing this, and you want to say you want to have 100 width for your box, and you want to have uh, 150 height for your box. Okay. 
and that's what we'll use and then we'll, we'll go over that in a second or why, why that's the case um, and then we'll, next thing we want to do is draw a line which is this is our, our um, what's the word our snap line that's it and we want to go M rectangle uh, minus sorry dot right minus M rectangle dot left okay um, divided by two okay uh, that's fine uh, I'm gonna make a very quick sandwich because I'm seriously starving I'll be right back okay we are back in business guys um, for the win all right so where were we we were typing the internet all right that's fine so we were copying this bit and what we're doing here is we're drawing the line and uh, that opens twice divided by two so yeah we'll go over this once once we've written it I guess it makes it easy for everyone um, and then the next bit is all right did I do that wrong uh, it doesn't need to close there so yeah the next bit we go over uh, <clears throat> I guess that's not necessary so M rectangle dot bottom minus M rectangle dot top x comma y uh, that gives us in the snap line color brilliant okay so what we're doing here is getting errors apparently yeah, there you go uh, <clears throat> so what we're doing here is we're going to draw a line uh, and then we have so yeah we're saying as you can see here the parameters that we set is start x start y so those two for example start x is we're saying um, uh, right of the rectangle minus left of the rectangle so so it's basically um, right minus left gives us this thing give sorry that gives us the full width so let's say the window is 1280 that will give us 1280 okay and then we divide by that by two and it gives us the center of the screen right so that's this line so that gives us the horizontal positioning which is fine yeah so that will give us the center here so we have the center which is fine and then we say uh, bottom minus top so bottom minus top gives us this gives us zero sorry it doesn't give us zero it gives us about um, the, the full length of your of your um, height so uh, let's say you have uh, a 1980 so you do um, so you're doing full height that will start here so we end up with a sna uh, snap line starting from here which is exactly where we want which is in the bottom um, center of our screen okay that's what we want and we go from there and then we draw from there to x and y which is where the player is posi positioned on the screen and then we choose the color to draw on so that bit is straightforward okay and now the final bit is uh, we're using string stream to um, string stream ss so we're using that to um, string stream fail we're using that to draw our player's distance <clears throat> so we can go SS so we're throwing those values into the string and the reason why we're using <clears throat> excuse me a string stream is so that <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me fucking hell. the reason why we're using a string stream is so that we can throw the distance variable into um, a string and then we can later on display it because we're going to need to convert that into a uh, a char array basically which is uh, what we used to draw string upon so think of the, I mean if you're using C sharp or anything like that you you can do this probably all in one line but uh, C++ tends to give us a bit of trouble so char pointer distance info so this is our char array here equals new char and that's where we'll store the distance new char open that and then go ss.str so converting our string stream into str dot size so we're defining that initial size plus oops plus one so we're making it one bigger than what we need it to be and then str copy so copying the string str copy and this will be distance info so that's the destination that's where it's going distance info ss dot str dot to see so it's to a constant 
Make sure I get that right. Uh, yeah, it gives us a constant char array. And then close that. So we just copy that. And now all we need to do is go draw a string. 